Okay, well, let's actually go and hunt for skunks and, um, skunks and badgers again. And hopefully we can get the two skunks we need and the one badger we need. Kind of finish this off. And then, once we get those, we'll get the two elk skins. And then we'll also get the final treasure for the Jack Hall gang. I know that's kind of been on the back burner for a while, but yep. it will get done. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Shit! Okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I am so sorry. I should not have done that. I'm just glad you're alive. It's okay. Here. Take whatever you decide to eat from me. Here, girl. Did I feed him Oleander? I thought that's poisonous. Well, it looks like he's okay. I did not mean for him to eat Oleander. Can he eat Oleander? Well, here, eat this carrot. Fill up completely. The game chose for it to eat or the end. Oleander. I don't know why. It's kind of strange. Javier, why are you wearing that badge around here? you're not trying to ruin I'm not sure I appreciate your tone girl well I'm not sure I appreciate your smell put me off my meal mr. Morgan Please. I feel I made a bit of a fool of myself again uh, we've all done it <laughs> and you saved my life again well, get yours away, uh, maybe one day you'll save mine Oh, my soul. <laughs> yeah, I'd like that. Don't make fun of me. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Anyway, it wasn't a complete waste of time. I stole this from one of those awful men. You should have it. Thank you, but you were blind drunk. I was drunk, but I never forget my manners. Be well, Mr. Morgan. And to think, I was annoyed that he well was too. talking to me because I was missing out on what they were saying. Okay, let's grab our new poison arrows. Sweet. Well, there's really not much for us to look for, because I don't think Bill's going to start the pomade request yet. So we're going to sleep tonight and hunt for the skunk and badger. Perfect. That's our final badger that we needed. This is off to a great start already. Gave us the badger that we needed. Now we just need two skunk. That's probably going to take a lot longer, if I'm being honest. And after this point, we will get millions upon millions of perfect badgers. Mark my words. <laughs> Never 
Never mind, we got a perfect skunk already. Easy. Now we just need one more. Maybe the more it complained about it, the more the game is like, all right, fine, we can't look like a jerk now. Okay, it looks like we have a couple of perfect cow elk over there. We still need two more, so it was too perfect. But we can only carry one, so we're just gonna take out one of them. Got it. It was clean. There we go. We still have to hunt one badger and one skunk. Of course, and I kind of want to get those out of the way, but I figured, you know, since it's daytime, we'll uh, we'll hunt down the two remaining elk that we need just for crafting, on. and then oh. once we get those, we'll advance time to night, and then just keep hunting at night until we get those last two skins, the one badger and the one skunk, and then we'll be good to move on in the story, really. Well, I guess not in the story because I still want to get that one treasure before we head over to H Hosea and buy a couple of craftable um, outfit pieces. But we, we got a plan. We got a plan. Now, if this was a perfect world, when we go over there, there'll be a perfect elk skin right next to the guy. But we don't really live in a perfect world. We're going to save so we make sure we don't lose this skin. It's been, as you can see, like a week since I've recorded last. But that is okay. As you guys can probably tell, I, I cut up these videos. So sometimes I don't always know what I was doing before. And I always have to kind of remind myself. It probably happens a lot more than I realize. But basically I knew we were continuing hunting. And we're pretty much finishing up that, if I'm being yeah. honest. Is that, is that a gang hideout? Because if it is, then we should take it down. Easy, easy. No, that's not a gang hideout. Yep. I always get confused by that one, because I think I got stopped by that one earlier. I really am happy to get most of the hunting for the animals that we have discovered so far done and out of the way, especially the elks and the deer, for sure. Just because, like, there are so many outfits that require them, it's it's absolutely ridiculous. But I mean, I imagine, you know, it's like the most some of the most common animals that you can hunt are going to be the base for a lot of the um, outfits and clothing items you can craft. So it makes sense. It's just nice to get, especially the elk, done and out of the way, just because of the fact that they take up a whole. Like a whole, uh, the back end of your horse and you can't carry multiple of them. Or else I'd get this done so much quicker. Deers don't take long to finish at all. Rams, depending on how much they want to spawn from here at the moment. It's okay, brush, it's okay. But, like, th those can be a bit, easy, be a bit easier. Sorry, I can't speak. I'm a little bit into recording and I can't speak at all. But, I mean, is anything else new? But, um, yeah, like, you yeah. just, you can basically get them all in one go and sell them all at once, and that kind of helps you keep track of how many you need, if you know how many you need in total. If you're just hunting for, um, craftable items and stuff, if you're hunting for, basically, to sell the skins and make money that way, which is a, a completely reasonable way to make money in this game. Like, if you just hunt everything you see, you can make pretty good decent money pretty quickly compared to maybe robbing people. But like any other Rockstar game, there comes a point where you really don't even need to 
do any of the extra stuff to make money, and you're just doing it to see how much you can get in the end. We got a good amount right now, I think. Um, 700. Sorry, I didn't mean to switch perspective. 700, which... I think at one point I had... I got up to, like, 10 grand. Or even more when playing before the epilogue. So it's doable. If you don't spend your money, like, at all. I spend my money. I buy clothing. I, I try to buy every clothing item. Every saddle, at least once. Just to make use of the money as a... Because if you're going to have all of it, you might as well have everything else in the game. Especially if it doesn't make you go completely broke. And it's probably recommended for you to spend your money. Even what most people would probably say. From my memory. Including myself. So yeah, just do it. Like... If you want to buy all the clothing items in storage just so you can have like a million options at the camp whenever you want, then go for it. But if you want to be frugal, because you're uh, money hungry like Mr. Krabs or something, then by all means do that too. I do know that I was calling Brush, um, Eagle in the other video, probably one right before this. And that's my bad. I guess I got the American, uh, paint and the American Standard Bread mixed up in my mind. Thank you. Bring your skins and hides, folks. Clothes, equipment, saddles, all made right here. It's just me here, dude. I know you're speaking as if you're speaking to the, uh, Saint Denis crowd, but it's just me right now. All right, let's have a look. Okay, let's see, um... We'll sell you, and you, and you, and you, and then Much I would like to see All made to how many I have. Okay, no, 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 no. Uh, clothing, moccasins, so we got two of those, which is what I thought we had, and then I'm mostly checking the badger one, too, okay, we need, we need one more of the badger, okay, I just was making sure of that, I can't remember if I actually s sold the, um, the badger and skunk skunk skin I found in the last time I recorded. So it's, it's good that I checked that to make sure I didn't get it completely wrong. Now we just need to find one more elk. Perfect skin elk, that is. You perp no, of course not. Of course you're not perfect. Nothing is ever perfect. Alright, well let's get let's get on with trying to find that one elk. And then we should have every single one that we need for crafting. Yeah. We kind of head back over here where we found the other one, and we should be able to find one really quickly. Oh, we found it. We didn't even have to go too far either. Second there, I thought it wasn't going to let us skin it. But it was just an awkward spot. Alright, we'll save the venison to give the camp for food. Since this is probably the, the last elk we're going to hunt for a while. Once we get the... The hunter satchel, I can't, or the provision satchel. We might hunt, hunt an elk then, um, just so we can get a lot more meat and uh, give it to camp. Cause that, at least that has some use. You know what I mean? So it won't be like just hunting for 
no reason than just to hunt. I love the way Arthur talks to his horses. So nice. Right, let's see. Yes, and please take that. Let me update my list with the two elks I needed left. Perfect. I'll double check the number of elk skins he has uh, later. Um, just in case if I did miscount, I'm probably like off screen or something, but if, uh, my numbers are correct, I still need one badger and one skunk, and then we should have everything that we need I've run this stall all the way from here to, the to border. continue to the next the mission. Border, that is, and I've never been out of work. Well, that's good for you, man. Some people, it's, for some people, it's too hard to find work. Thanks. Okay, so since we still got some daytime, I figured instead of going over here to hunt for skunks and badgers, badgers for the probably the final time, we have to wait for night. So instead of progressing time, I figured we could go over to Okray's Run and finish um, the Jack Hall Gang treasure hunt. I know I've been doing a lot of hunting, so it's probably not been as exciting, you know. Um, as other things would do, but I figured, you know, since we got some daytime, we're done hunting elk, uh, we could probably go here and do that, and then we'll finish getting the last badger and skunk skin we need, and then move on to the next, um, mission that we have. Now, I'm just double-checking what's all in the area that I could get now, and it seems like I could get a dinosaur bone, this treasure, and then one tobacco card, and then a, like, just a lockbox or something. The Paco card. A uh, cigarette card is what I meant to say. In fact, I'm going to save again. Just so we don't miss out on anything. Yeah, I figured I'll pick up the um, the cigarette card now. Since we would really have to go out of our way later to get it. So, figured I could just pick this up now. Because the only other time I'd probably pick it up is like... When the stranger mission is located there. I don't know. My system's weird. Leave me alone. Uh, might get tonight sooner than I thought. What time is it? Let me check. Uh, oh, it's noon. Must be just a cloudy cloudy areas. Okay, we're coming up to where the, the treasure is. You see that little island over there? In the middle of the, the little lake, pond, whatever you want to call it. I think it's technically a lake. That is where our treasure will be. We'll need to get a boat and go out to it. I think we can swim to it if we want. But it's probably just an easier time and less risk of, risk of us drowning if we just take a boat. There's one right there for us. Okay, I'm actually going to go in here and get a cigarette card and kind of pick up loot the place as well. Sorry, brush. Yeah, let's brush you up. Yeah, brush. Let's do your namesake. Let's get you looking good. There. Now you look all nice. Figured we'll be here. We'll actually come here later for a stranger mission, but I think I'll take the chance to take from this place when I gotta. 
We'll use the gun oil. Even though this really doesn't need it that much, we probably have guns that need it a lot more. But gun oil is, like, not that hard to find or buy, if I'm being honest, so... It doesn't really matter in the end of the day. I always feel weird just taking people's stuff, but then again, I'm a outlaw, you know? This is what I would do. Ooh, gin. Don't mind if I do. Oh, no, 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 no. Crap. I was trying to open the other cabinet. The wardrobe. Hmm, nothing else? Okay. I love all the detail they put into the small things in games like this. A gold pocket watch, that's a good find. Another gun oil, huh? Well, we might as well go get another gun and clean it. We'll pick something that is really low condition. Um, no, maybe. Yeah, that's the lowest condition thing we have. Yeah, oil it up. See what I mean? We were hunting for elk, and now that we got them, they're all over there. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Maybe I should have just came here and got the treasure when hunting for them. Take that. Take this as well. And then to find the card that's here... At this place is called the Veterans Homestead. Come back here, and then I think it's a horse one. The Turco Man. Horse card eight. Which if you just excuse me a moment. So I can mark down that that is what we got. Indeed. Yeah, so there's the rest of them. I, we also have the Thoroughbred, which I found out that that is not one in the epilogue when I was, uh, when I picked it up earlier. Can we come back here? No, it doesn't seem like it. We haven't even really figured out what those are used for yet. Oh, look, there's a grizzly bear. Let us... Yeah, I'm gonna save just in case if the game wants to try putting it in my journal before my permission you know so don't want that happening all right so let's um where's our treasure maps here they are no that's no wrong map wrong map Treasure maps, an own separate thing. Okay, as we saw, it's a mountain and an island to our left right there, so. Very simple map. Kind of the easiest one in this series.
Where's the rock? Oh, there it is. And two gold bars. And another level in the Explorer challenges. Following all the clues of the Jack Hall gang treasure, you uncovered two gold bars buried on a small island at Okray's Run. So how many gold bars is that now? Six. Oh my gosh, man. We are going to have a lot of gold bars to sell when we finally get to the... God, what do they call him? Um, smuggler? Smuggler? I honestly can't remember what they call them. But we'll get introduced to a vendor that we can sell those to with the next uh, Hosea mission, which is why I try to do it a little bit earlier than some. I know I've been spending a lot of time doing other things, but I'm more been just setting up for us to do things and follow my list of requirements and stuff like that. But I am excited to finally get to sell basically trinkets and other things to them. Okay. Well, I guess I'll save again because that bear is close by and I don't want it ruining our plans. I'm going to go ahead and try to get a dinosaur bone that is close by. More specifically, up this mountain. Not not right here. Okay, okay. The, we got to avoid this mountain, but it is up this mountain. This one's a bit more of a pain to get. So I was actually considering waiting until I was exploring more in the mountains here, but I figured, you know, I'm gonna have to come around this way anyway to get to it. Help me. Help me. Please. Okay, I'm a bit skeptical on this. Um... I'm gonna pack heat just in case. My leg it hurt so bad. What happened, man? My horse threw me, and I landed on my foot, and I heard a snap. My legs all numb. Hands up now! Take this! Usually those guys attack me in, uh, south of here. This is definitely different for me. So you could tell that I was kind of ready to throw down. And as you guys saw, I was defending myself. Two silver earrings? Nice. I think I needed those for a crafting thing later. So this was a very beneficial exchange. Thank you for trying to rob me today, you three idiots. That's cool, girl. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, it looks like they didn't know it was me. So that's good. So you always want to get out of there because even though they tried robbing me, because I defended myself, it just looks bad. Okay, let's see. Um. Hey, he's there. Hmm. I'm gonna try to go up this direction. I'm not sure if this will work. I'm just glad that they actually didn't get the uh, the law on us. That would have been. Quite annoying. Oh crap. Crap, 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 crap. Yeah, it doesn't seem like that's gonna work out. So, let's uh, try taking the long way around. It's better to be safe than sorry. I'm trying to think where they usually attack me at. Like, they don't usually attack me here. Uh, I think they usually... If memory serves me correct, would be Let's see no 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 like right here is where they usually attack me right at this little intersection here 
Well, that's because I always go through there, so I'm surprised it didn't happen earlier. This might work out for us. We're just trying to get a dinosaur bone, so. We could legit find it, save, and then load the save to basically get us off the mountain. Yeah, it's right there. Which, if you're struggling with this, I basically took this path from the left. And I guess I kind of, this is where my horse is. And you can kind of take that around. If you're using... If you're having trouble with that, which I don't know it, who's really looking in my video for that specific dinosaur bone. This is just more so you can see the completionist side of me. Um, what way do I want to take? It's just... Yeah, this part is really risky, so you want to be very careful if you can be. Okay, and I just kind of jimmied myself up that mountain. That shouldn't have worked. Also, I don't understand how this could be a dinosaur bone when it's at the top of the mountain like this. Maybe just erosion or something over time? I don't know, it's possible. If you think that's how it could happen, then let me know in the comments below. Go ahead and write that down. Maybe I could get down that way? Or, you know, I could just kind of let myself slide down or totally trample. This is not going well. Okay, it's actually going a lot better. Okay, if you just take it slow, you should be able to slide just right down. Hey, and this is where we tried to go up originally, it seems like. It's okay, Brush. Take it slow. Don't hurt yourself. Not for my sake. Okay, girl. Yeah, Brush yeah. is kind of a bad name for a girl, girl horse. Maybe I should have called them hair. I don't know. You see, I'm just ta I'm just terrible with names, okay? Cut me just a little bit of slack on that. Okay, um... We're gonna head this direction. And then try to get the... The last badger and last skunk, and then move on. Let me, uh, feed you. Next time I'm in the stable, I'm just going to stockpile on, uh, provisions for the horse. this time. Let's put some money on it, huh? What do you say? Fine by me, friend. Fine by me. 
Good. Okay, let's do this. You know how this goes. The one who shoots the most bottles wins. Just draw your gun and aim when you're ready. All right? <laughs> Shoot! Man. Oh, come on! And after all that practice... Not enough, I guess. That was just a one-off, man. A fluke. Let's go again. With real money. All right, let's do it. Uh, aha! That's a good call, amigo. Just like before, mi amigo. You shoot four birds out of the sky before me, you win. Stand near me, and as soon as they come out, it's anyone's shot. Be patient. Ah, there they go. Shoot! Ah, man. Stupid, stupid. Ah. Oh, well. You know how to shoot, okay? Ah, uh, here it is, okay? Man of my word. Appreciate it. Sure. <sighs> Better watch out next time. You'll see. Yeah, I won't miss a chance to defeat that guy in a shooting challenge. We've done that three times so far. I don't know how many times that he can if he does it at each location that he's able to do it. Because I, I remember there being up to, like, five different instances, but it could it could also just be, like, a certain amount of times out of the different locations you can get. Okay, let's see. Can I just... Okay. Alright. <laughs> just do it this way. Uh, wow, okay. Easy, easy. I was actually just trying to get some uh, meat for the camp. Before it got the night time, we can hunt for the skunks and badgers. So I figured might as well kill a deer and get the camp some food. Because they're probably running low. So I guess qual I don't know if quality makes as much as a difference when you're just like looking to get the meat. So you might get less meat for a little quieter quality kill. I don't really know. I'll look that up later in my uh hey, who's that? my guidebook. Dumbass. Evening. Hello, ladies. Hi there. My lady. Okay, let's take a look. Thank you. I can't remember. You know they say that's the first sign of madness. Just forgetting shit. I had something real interesting I was going to tell you boys and all, and I I can't. It, it would have been amazing. God, shit, I'm sorry. I am annoyed with myself. You know, my, my daddy started forgetting things. And it didn't turn to... Good for him in the end. I just hope that I'm not gonna have that kind of future. May he rest in peace. See, he... All right, he... He liked moonshine, 
with his whiskey, and he said it was something about the combination. And by the time he passed, he didn't know his left from his right. <sighs> Bad business. I just hope that's not what's happening to me. I mean, it's, I don't like mixing drinks. All right? That's the problem, is mixing. You don't. Have a nice evening. Why are you still dressed like a lawman? <laughs> they do not like this hat whatsoever. You know, I think Bill's on to something. Even Maybe you shouldn't mix your moonshine with your whiskey. Never done it myself, but it does not sound like a fun combination. This is going in the pot. Good job, Mr. Morgan. Miss Jackson. Hey. Evening. How are things? Not so good. You know, it's nearly five years since I left Mexico and the rebellion. Ah, it still has not happened. If I go back and they find me, I'm dead. My mother, I heard she died. I mourn her, but I did not bury her. My sister got married, she moved away. I, I hope she's safe, but I, I will never know. And what was my crime? Huh? My crime was wanting food and fairness for the people. For that, I have been chased and hunted. I come here. Things are not so very different. Everyone steals, kills, suppresses, lies. All they do better here is make you believe that it's not that way. Hey. Guess things are the same everywhere. Yeah. The older I get, the more I find that to be true. Kind of depression.
Sweet. We got a badger in the first few seconds of us hunting here. Now we just need one three-star skunk. And we're golden. I'm going to save so we make sure that we got that badger. You know how paranoid I can get. Yes. There we go. Okay, I didn't really think about the fact that that wasn't a three star. I just was like, for good measure, and then I realized that that kind of made it pointless. Which I don't know why I didn't, didn't do that with a three star badger I found earlier after finding the one that we just skinned. But hey, you know, it's too late now. Well, maybe at least we'll get a sweat gland out of it or something. Okay, but that should be the last skunk and badger that we need. Come on. I am going to save once again to make sure that we don't lose any progress at all of what we did. Oh, girl. Yep. Let's see, um... Okay, well, we're gonna make our way to the trapper. We got this up here. We should be good to then craft some outfit stuff and then put on what we would need to put on for the next mission and then move on. At least we saved her, even though she might not seem grateful. But that's okay. She's probably traumatized, you know what I mean? Now, who are these guys? Since uh, we got an entry, we'll read about them. Since we got kind of introduced to them. They are a gang known as the Mumphrey Brood. The Mumphrey Brood are believed to have immigrated to America in the 1700s where they lived comfortably. The industrialization of the area drove the family to live a secluded life in the hills. Now the family resides in a cave in Beaver Hollow, only venturing out to be to the surrounding areas for hunting and scavenging. Hmm. Kind of a creepy group. They look nasty. If you loot them, they should give you, like, ingredients and stuff. But I don't think it will count as discovered. So it will give us a chance to get a couple of items that don't really affect um, our journal. Okay. Welcome back. Well, now that we got introduced to the Mumphrey Brood, I guess we can move on. <laughs> but um, I do know there is one um, random event that you can get 
where it will add a journal entry for that, and it's when you have to take a woman back to town. So if you're trying to keep the journal nice looking like I am, keep that in mind. And since I actually have this screen pulled up, if you want to check where your progress is with bonding with your horse, you can go to the player menu in the pause menu, go to the horse where I'm going right now, and it will tell you bonding which level it's at. And if at the bottom left corner right there, it says level three out of four, progress the next level, and it will tell you how much you have left. Now, certain actions give certain amounts. Like I think feeding gives like a plus 20. Um, just like when you're riding the horse, it will constantly give a natural buff not buff, um, natural increase, just like by point by point by how much distance you go. So I know there's a guide somewhere that says how much per one, but I just try to lead them in towns, feed them, and then hitching them, bonds it, fe like feeding them, cleaning them, like doing those things, those things, those things does more bonding while galloping just does a natural kind of bonding. So if you want to check your progress on the horse you're bonding with at the moment, you can look at it right here. It's kind of how I keep track, personally. All right. We got some things to sell to you, my All man. Right, let's have a look. For one, we'll sell this just for 38 cents. We'll sell this. We'll keep this. I, I picked this up from camp um, because this is what um, Charles was using. So you can actually get a hawk feather pretty early if you pick it up from him when he's messing with the feathers. So just keep that in mind. We're going to sell this skunk to you and this badger, and then we should have just everything that we would need to craft what we have available right now. So, we're actually going to do that, which... Nothing quite like wearing your best days. We won't do the reinforced equipment yet. I want to get one specific upgrade from a Mica mission before I, like, I start buying those. Let's see, saddles. We don't have any saddles we can make. Um, let's see... Badger Mountain was one. We'll make that. Skunk Mountain was one. Don't know why animals that, but it kind of freaked me out there for a second. Meant to go to Vest. Hitler Lynn Vest. Good choice. And then let me actually record what I'm making. Yeah, there's not that many vests, and there's not that many um, boots or anything, but there's more chaps and hats than anything else. Okay, it looks like we just got two things here. Actually, three things. What? What? Yeah, let's make them all. Oh, the things I do if I had you. These days I'm fishing more and less. My old man was right. Sweet. We got those three crafted. And then the boots. Right here. Which it's not showing because we have this on. These conflict. So if you want to wear the actual moccasins or skunk trapper boots, you have to... Uh... Maybe you can wear the moccasins with stuff. Yeah, I guess you can. Huh. And I know that. Best trapper I ever knew. Regardless, it don't matter. Native. She'd find a trail while the bloodhound was still sniffing its own ass. Hell of a woman. Rest her soul. Items, items. Is there anything we can buy that's actually throwing knife? Ah, we're gonna get some soon. Garment sets. I think I might avoid making any of this until we complete the set itself, which we aren't really close to doing that just yet. At least not with... Well, I remember one of them you get done quicker compared to the others with my system. But we'll make those as we get those. But I just wanted to make these other items real quick. Thanks, partner. Alright, nice. Now, I actually do want to change a couple things outfit-wise, so I am going to go do that. And then we're going to head to Hosea to talk to him. And see what he has in store for us.
okay? Right as rain. Okay. Getting on there, John. Good. Ooh, scar looks pretty. Yeah, ruined my fine features. <laughs> Thank you for saving me. I know you'd save me. Of course. I owe you for life. You and Arthur. Hey. Good morning, Arthur. Nice to see that he appreciates us helping him out, you know what I mean? Okay, well, it looks like we got on what I want to have on for the next mission. I know he looks a little bit ridiculous, but I am trying to show off all the different outfits. It's mostly the, the, the boots that look kind of funny. But um, I was actually curious about one thing, and this is what I thought. We can't put any chaps on anything for the uh, skunk boots so can't wear any of the new uh chaps that we just made did you miss me miss karen oh yeah quite dreadfully crying like a baby every night right beside myself i was ask anybody really no i miss the calendar boys i miss jenny but the silver lining of it all is that there was no more of you and then you come back. And that's when I realized that fate is a vindictive bastard after all. Ah, uh, you love me, really. No. No, I don't. Come here. <laughs> Jesus alive! <laughs> you keep your dirty, horseshit eating hands off of me, or I'll stick a knife in you, boy. I love it when you talk nasty to me. You got a real way with women. Please, least I get some action. <laughs> All you got was a slap in the face. Hey there. I might just go back to bed. You look well. Really? Well, props to her for sticking up to her, her for herself. Even though she does probably care about it. I think that might have been a little bit mean to say like i miss all the people that died but not you sean it might be a little bit mean to say but sean might just not be that great of a person so you kind of have to accept that that is the possibility all right now that we got on some of our new pieces of clothing from the trapper let's go see hosea and what he had for us at emerald ranch